cars, cars and more cars. The market for luxury vehicles was once booming in India. Customers had the cash to splurge on luxury cars of all kinds, from the sleek to the powerful. But the recent slowdown hasn't left rich customers unaffected. Indeed, data shows many car makers are experiencing lower growth or outright declines. Mercedes has been among the worst hit, with a 22% drop in sales in the first five months of 2012. Rival BMW has fared better with a growth of 10% in the same period, though that's nothing compared to its explosive sales growth last year. One company that has bucked the trend is Audi with a 37% surge in sales. Of course, there's another, even more rarefied segment, luxury cars that cost more than 2 crores each. At this showroom in Mumbai, Aston Martin shows off its latest car, the Vanquish. This shop has sold about 40 vehicles in the last year and a half, but its dealer only seems moderately hopeful. There's a lot of buyers out there who have been waiting for these cars and then who still continue to have family occasions and other reasons to buy the car. So we're looking at volumes which are similar to last year and um, probably could have been slightly better if the markets were more buoyant. But um, given last year was our first year with, uh, with an enthusiastic start and new model launches, for us to replicate last year's volumes is encouraging. You would imagine the people who buy luxury cars can weather a slowdown and keep splurging. So what's keeping customers away? Analysts believe it's a cocktail of factors coming together. Well, I think there are a number of factors at play here. Uh, firstly, we have to recognize that you know the foreign currency depreciation that we've seen, uh, the, the rupee depreciation by over 15% over the last 12 months, uh, would have an impact as, as these vehicles are fully imported. So the landed cost of these vehicles uh, would clearly get pushed up higher. So that may have an effect on, uh, on, on some of the slowdown that we're seeing, number one. The second is that, uh, you know, I think business sentiment and consumer confidence is perhaps at an all-time low uh, over the last three or four years. Whatever the reasons, luxury car makers may have to try out a whole range of new tricks to get India's status-conscious customers back into the showrooms. Aditya Ramanathan, Delhi, Mint.